What's going on world? In today's tutorial, we're going to take a Sprint HTC Evo 4G and then we're going to turn it into a Cricut HTC Evo 4G. We're going to need two softwares. We're going to need CDMA Workshop and we're going to need QPST. CDMA Workshop is not a free software. It's $99. QPST is free, so I will provide that. We're going to need a few free apps. I'm going to provide those from my Dropbox. I'll provide a link for you to click. If you go to install the drivers and it doesn't install, you want to go to control panel, go to system, hardware, and then device manager. And you should see in here, you'll see the phone under uh, the COM port. You see here, HTC diagnostic interface. You'll come here and you'll see something yellow like this. That means it's not installed. What you do is you want to update the driver by right clicking it uh, hit no not this time install from an advanced location browse to where the drivers are they should be on your desktop see I have mine's here HTC Diag drivers hit that x86 on the 32-bit computer hit OK hit next and it'll install the software mine's was already there so of course it didn't once you're done that you're ready to flash and we can go to CDMA workshop. When you open up the phone inside CDMA workshop, hit connect. As you can see, COM port is, is connected successfully on my COM port. You want to go to security, you go to read these numbers here this is my SPC aka the MSL which is the master subsidy lock code when you get that to pop up yours is not going to be all zeros this phone is already flashed but yours is going to be a series of numbers it's going to be six numbers you go to SPC send you'll see this message here SPC is correct phone unlocked okay you want to change it to all zeros once again yours is not going to be all zeros so you want to put in all zeros and then you go to SPC right it's going to say success SPC successfully has been changed after you see that message you hit OK boom we're done with CDMA workshop the phone is now unlocked and ready to be flashed to a different carrier the phone may reboot mine's is okay mine's is rebooting now as you see I have a custom ROM I'm running fresh Evo. It's by far the best in my opinion. Super fast. It's D sprinted. It does not have carrier IQ. Um, it's a cool phone. My phone has rebooted. We're ready to do the rest of the flash. Um, you want to connect the phone back to the computer. Now we want to open up QPST configuration. You'll have to go to add a new port. You want to choose a USB QC diagnostic port. I have two different ones because I have a dock on my laptop. But my phone is 12. I already know that. So I'll hit OK. And over here where it says phone, you want to see it say surf. If it says no phone, then you're not on the right port. Okay, mine says surf. So the next step is to go to service programming. This window is going to pop up. Hit OK. Okay. 
you want to go to CDMA right here you want to put Cricut in the directory you want to put your phone number if your phone number was 215 four five six three seven eight six that's what you would put there you want to put your MIN here 384 in this box you want to put 691 here 777 here and you want this these three to be set to 13k your roaming your home and your home page to all be 13k EVRC should be enabled you want to check these three boxes here you want to put 8 here. Then you want to go to your Rome tag. When you get to Rome, you want to put Cricket here and your phone number here. Your phone number, aka directory number. Browse here and select your PRL. I have a PRL um, here. Boom. My PRL is from my Cricket forum. I'm on the Cricket users forum. This is the PRL that I'm using, 45722 hybrid PRL. I haven't had any problems doing about seven phones with this PRL um, in Philadelphia, of course. So, boom, you want to select that, get your PRL. Um, then you want to go to display. You want to type Cricket here or whatever you want. If you want your phone to say Cricket as the network, you type Cricket here. That's what this is for. After you've done that, you want to go to your MIP tab. You want to uh, delete any profiles that you see here because you're going to make your own profile. Okay, this is going to be your number at mycricket.com. So you're going to take and put your phone number there. Uh, for instance, your phone number is 222-222-2222 at mycricket.com. That's your NAI. Enter the text string. The text string is cricket. I'm just going fast. This is just the way I do things. That's your text string, cricket. Enter the text string here. Again, cricket. This is 12C, capital C. This is 10. This is 2. 255 five here. All the way across. 255. Five. Okay. Boom. You want to set this to simp IP only. You want to set this to 1750 MS. Mine is already checked. You want to check this box here. Your active user is zero. Registry retries should be on two. Deregistration retries one. Pre lifetime expiry zero. Okay. Now we want to go to the PPP config tab. When we get there, your settings should look like mine's here. You want to go to the UM tab. You want to paste your phone number here like you did earlier. Your phone number at mycricket.com. Your phone number at mycricket.com. Fill in the rest of the boxes as they look. Uh, your password here is going to be cricket. Check this box here. Check this box here. Do these as follows. 2020 0, 1000, 1000, 0, 33, 28, 230, 3000, 1000, 768. Disable and ignore. You want to go to the AN tab. 3000, 1000, 768, 230, 33, 28, 1000, 1000, 0, 2020, 0. After you're done, you want to go to this button here and write the phone. When you do, the phone will reboot. And when it does reboot, you'll have 3G.
your phone will also say cricket right here or whatever you put inside the banner and uh, of course if you were to dial 611 Welcome to cricket. Para Español, uno. you should hear that APM back up and restore. This is very important. Um, you want to hit back up APNs. Okay, it made a file for me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the phone to the computer. I'm going to mount mount the drive. Mount it as a disk drive. when it pops up open folder to view files what you want to do is you want to take the AP and you download it open it with notepad when you open the APN and uh, you want to put your phone number here after it says user equals you'll just put your number you know I just have all zeros there you just put you know whatever your phone number is your seven digit number and then you want to save it after you save it, you want to drag that to, into your SD card now. So you want to go to my computer and open up the SD card where it is. My card is in D. Open up the card. Put the APN inside this folder. APN back up and restore. Delete the other existing one that you backed up. Okay. Now that you deleted it, you want to unhook the phone from the computer and restore APNs okay the APN is restored you now have talk text and MMS now the last thing to get web what you want to do is you want to download the app any cut okay after you install any cut you want to make sure the desktop is clear um, you need the opening for your uh, your shortcut so any cut new shortcut activity and then you want to scroll down to proxy settings you go to proxy settings okay it'll create the shortcut on your desktop you go here and you hit WAP dot mycricket.com And then you put it on port 8080. And you'll now have talk, text, and web. When you go to hit something, your 3G will work and you won't need Wi-Fi anymore.